Turn this hour over a new coronavirus variant that scientists say could be more infectious than previous strains. The WHO has now named this variant Omicron. They're also stressing that there is still a lot we don't yet know about this new variant. Hello, friends. What is COVID-19 Omicron variant? How this variant is different from other COVID-19 variants? and how this variant has the potential to evade the immunity that we have acquired from either previous infections or vaccinations. We will know the answer of these questions in this video. Watch this video till the end. I'm Dr. Mohsen Raj from Ames, New Delhi. Let's get started. Now, before we delve into the depths of this topic, let's first try to understand what is a new variant of COVID-19. See, when the COVID-19 virus replicates, mutations occur in its genome, which is the RNA. Every virus has a genome. The genome of this virus is RNA. And as the virus is replicating, it is acquiring, it's accumulating certain mutations. And when these mutations change some of the characteristics of this virus, it becomes a new variant. Okay, so... The variant that we are talking about in this video is known as Omicron. And this variant is of sufficient concern that WHO, the World Health Organization, has designated it as a variant of concern on November 26, 2021. So what is a variant of concern according to WHO? It means that a new COVID-19 variant has acquired genetic mutations, new characteristics that, that impart certain new characteristics to the virus strain, which either increase the transmissibility of the virus, that it spreads quickly, it spreads easily, or it increases the virulence of the virus, which means it causes a more severe disease, or it impairs the ability to detect these viruses using diagnostic modalities. So our tests may not detect the new strain or it impairs the ability to neutralize the virus with various drugs that we already have or it impairs the ability of the host immunity from previous infections or immunizations or vaccinations to defend the body against these new strains. So as a result of these characteristics, a strain is designated as a variant of concern. Now, what is different about the strain is that it is a highly mutated variant. We all know that COVID-19 has a spike protein, the protein that it uses to bind to our cells to infect us, and also the site where the antibodies that are generated by a body or by vaccinations to neutralize that virus. And this particular variant has enormous it has 30 different mutations in that spike protein, in the binding domain of that spike protein. So that gives this virus a potential to quickly infect our cells, possibly increase transmission, and also possibly it is resistant to our antibodies that we already have in our system. Now, how much do we know about this COVID-19 Omicron variant? Being honest, you know, uh, even the researchers, the scientists who are working on this new variant, they will not be able to answer all of our questions. Why? Because it has just been a week or maybe slightly more than a week. The first case was reported from South Africa on November 24th. So it has been just maybe a couple of weeks. So in this short span of time, we really don't know much about its transmissibility, virulence or other features of this virus. So it is still too early. But let's try to discuss what exactly do we know as of now. So how fast is this Omicron variant spreading? Now, number one, if we remember the number of cases in South Africa in mid-November were around a few hundred cases a day. But then on November 24th, they reported the first Omicron variant, the first patient detected to have this variant. And from that point of time, you know, concurrently, there was a sharp rise in the number of cases. And then they started to have thousands of cases, even 7,000, 8,000 cases per day. 
and there's early data to suggest that this variant can be spread can 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 spread itself three to six times as fast as the Delta variant that actually caused our, our that enormous wave in our country in, in earlier in 2021. Now, can Omicron virus evade or is it able to overcome the immunity of natural infection or vaccine? Well, pathophysiologically or from the mechanistic point of view, it has the ability because it has a mutated spike protein. But because we are so early into this new variant, the exact details are not available. But now remember that South Africa, about a quarter of their population, 25% of their population was fully vaccinated. And we do expect that there will be a, another maybe half of their population that had naturally got the COVID-19 infection in the previous phase. So these people were either vaccinated or they had a prior exposure to this virus. And still there's a rapid upsurge in the number of cases in South Africa. So yes, it's quite possible that you might have had COVID-19 from the previous strain, including the Delta strain. Yes, it's possible you might have been completely vaccinated and you still get the new COVID-19 Omicron variant. Now, how will vaccines fare against this Omicron? Now, number one, let's understand that when you either get a natural COVID-19 infection or when you are vaccinated for COVID-19, you develop two types of defense systems in your body. Number one, the antibodies. And number second, the T cells, the T lymphocytes or natural killer cells that help you to defend yourself from the virus. Now, this virus may have a mutated spike protein. This virus may dodge the antibody arm of our immunity, but the T cells that we still have may be able to defend us from uh, the new variant. So if we have been exposed to the virus, if we have been vaccinated against the virus, it is quite possible that we still get a benefit. We still get some help from that infection or from that vaccine against this new variant. Now, will booster doses of the current COVID vaccines protect us against this Omicron variant? Well, nothing can be said. We're not sure. But the rich countries have already started rolling out, you know, in huge numbers, the third or the booster doses of the COVID-19 vaccines. But nobody knows whether these booster doses can protect us from the new Omicron variant. Now, does the Omicron variant cause milder disease or more severe disease as compared to, for example, Delta variant? The truth is, nobody knows because it has been just two weeks since the discovery of this new variant. So initially, I mean, you may hear some, uh, you know, data or smaller reports that it causes more severe disease or maybe more mild disease. But the truth is that we will know that in due course of time. It may be milder variant. It may be a more severe variant that larger studies, larger data will, will provide us. Now, how far this new variant has spread. Well, we know that different countries are reporting, uh, for example, United States reported their first case on the, on the 1st of December only, uh, and that person had actually returned from South Africa. And we do see cases from India as well, four or five cases um, maybe that have been reported from India. So it may, of course, and it will uh, spread to other parts of the world in due course of time. Now, what can be done at this point of time? Number one, is to wait till the further data comes that we know about this strain or this new variant in detail. But logically and as a common sense, we should you know, observe all the protective measures that we have followed in the Delta variant as well. So that personal protection, hand hygiene, avoiding overcrowded places and getting vaccinated. If you haven't been vaccinated as of now, that's all we can do. So follow the routine protocols that you've learned of hygiene and distancing, social distancing and all. That is all what we can do right now. I hope you will have acquired some valuable information from today's video. Please subscribe to the channel and I will produce more informative videos and much more content in future. Thank you.